Hi and welcome to Friday's live trading. I hope you're very well. Um, it's 7.37 in the morning and so I'm sorry I've got a partial screen here. I'm having to use Zoom this week. I'm working off a laptop whilst my computer's being fixed. <clears throat> now um, I put an order in yesterday evening we're to buy a half size position to buy the euro at 118.65. So that order's still down there um, for a half size position. So I'm going to leave that order there and we'll just see how that gets on um, this morning. So that's the first thing we're looking at. Euro's come all the way back up to its highs here. Let's take it out to the daily chart. Um, very um, low volatility really over the last week. But um, but anyway, nevertheless, I'm looking to see if we do get a breakout. So I've put a half size position order in there, if it can pull back. It nearly got there overnight, but not quite. So um, that order is in there and um, we'll see if that gets filled and then see um, how this pans out. It really could go either way today. I've been looking across the markets. We've got we've had divergences um, across some of these markets which um, could still come into play where we see um, the likes of the Aussie dollar roll over and likewise with the Kiwi and if they're rolling over then it's likely the euro will as well. So we have got these divergences but also we we are um, sitting up near these highs and so um, I'm willing to um, that's the pound as well on the four hour charts so I'm willing to <coughs> see if we can um, break up today. Um, the one thing coming back to that euro dollar is if we can break out, we've got that big significant psychological level at 119, then 119.20 up here. So I think that's why I quite like it, just for the the, the potential for that run up towards 119.20. So that's what I'm effectively looking at there. So when we got back above the hourly 50 yesterday evening, that's when the orders went in. So we've got the orders in uh, around about 116, sorry, 118.65 at the moment. We'll see if we get filled. Looks like it's going to get filled. And um, but then it's just a case of seeing whether um, and the stop. I've put the stops right down at one um, at 35. I think that might be. It looks quite a long way away on the um, on the hourly chart there. But when you come to the four hour chart, you think, oh, okay, it's right down here so it's giving it a bit of room to wiggle around this morning and then we'll see how it gets on so it's a 30 pip stop but um i'll be looking for um targets up into those 119s so um towards 119.20 anyway i shall press pause for now if i can work out this software here okay just back and um so we've, i've been waiting on this euro dollar or i say all morning it's now nine o'clock and um I had that order in at 118.65, but um, it's not got down there. And, and the, my hourly 20 is coming up to meet price. So I'm not going to get too fussy here. So I'm going to get this half size position in. So it's a one lot trade with a 30 pip stop is what I'm putting in here. So I'm going to quickly get it done now. So uh, there we go. So I'll get the other one put in off screen. I was quickly... Um, and then um, what I'm going to be looking to do, like I said, this is a half size position. And then um, I'll add... The um, I'll add to the position if we if it then starts to turn up at some point. Okay, so I'm looking to add on strength. I'm not looking to add on weakness today. Looking to add on strength. So um, I'm tentatively going in with the half size position because oh there we go it's come down now anyway. Um, um, tempted to come down uh, get in with a half size position because I just want to see because these really could roll over today. Um, it's as, as easy as it is that it could want to come up and break these highs, I'm very conscious that this is a market that could also want to roll over. So I've just put the half size position in for now and I'll add to it on strength. So let me just press pause while I'm sorting all my orders out. OK, so I've got those orders in. You have to ignore existing orders. I can't um, not show you existing stuff that's in there. These are the two entries I've just got. 118.70 and 118.69 with those stops there at 118.40. So that's where we're at at the moment. The chart's fun enough as it's rolled down now anyway. Um, but um, but uh, I'm, I'm in with those two positions now. So I'll just press pause on the recording. Okay, just back. Haven't been given a lot of commentary here today because look, it's now 12.35. Um, the euro came down and we got triggered in. Um, we took the trade, didn't we, this morning? Um, and um, sat with it, came down to the hourly 50. It's now done a bounce. 
So what I was looking for was, was some sort of turn. And so remember, I've only got half that position in so far, half position size. I'm going to move the stop up to um, uh, 118.50. And so I'm going to move the stops up on the other two positions to that. But I'm now going to get the other two units in. So you could argue, oh, Charlie, well, I, I've got a slightly different position size on these. So I'm, let's get the other one up. So I'm trying to get the position size total right. Um, there's the other one. Let's just get the other one in and I'll put the stops in place. So, um, oh, you could have just got in because you got in at 69 or 70, whatever it was this morning. Yes, I did. But um, so I'm long now, euro dollar, full size position um, with a stop down at 118.50. I'm just saying that more authoritatively because we've got a load of people here today, our swing traders with, with, uh, with me today. So um, I'm running all this on a Zoom meeting. So, um, so yes, I could have done, but this morning I was, like I was saying, it still felt less, uh, less, it could have gone either way, but what we asked, and it, obviously the market can still go either way, but what I was looking for is to see if we were going to come lower, be a bit softer, were we going to then bounce like we have done, or were we just going to completely roll over? So that was the hesitation, I say hesitation, the reason for the half size position there this morning. I was just waiting for a bit more of a confirmation. So I'm hoping that that is the confirmation that we've held up. Looking at the intermarket analysis, looking at the Kiwi, that's carried on going higher. There we go. And the Aussie is going up. Um, it's just the pound and the euro, which are a bit more languishing. But I'd like to think that maybe at some point later today, a bit like yesterday, maybe we'll get another run there. So I've got those positions in. Let's get, bring up the, um, all the positions. Like this morning, ignore. I have to ignore. Where's it gone? <laughs> Can't see it. There it is. It's finally come up. Because I'm using a laptop and and just an additional screen, and um, sometimes it takes a while for this additional screen to come up. So let's get these stops up and add the other two stops in. So I'm going to get these stops put in. At one eighteen, one point one eight fifty. For those of our members who are here. If my stop on Saxo Bank's at 118.50, that means you put a stop in at 118.49. And I'm going to trail those other stops up as well. So it's a um, oops, full risk now on that one. So it's risking, I say full risk, it's never exactly 100% on the um, full risk there. So those are the positions now. So um, I've got, like I've said this morning, I've got other positions open, but these are the positions I've taken today. So I've got, um, um, uh, what's that, 100, 220,000. Um, so 2.2 .2 lots for those of you who think of things in lots. So that's what we're at, um, which would risk about, I'm assuming around about, I don't know, 350 to 400 pounds is the risk on that trade there today. So um, now, well, we'll see how it pans out as we go through the afternoon. It's for the pound and the euro. It's not been a lot going on. If we go back out to that daily chart, still a small range day. So I'd love to. I do hope that this range does expand one way or another. If it's going to go to the downside, fine. But um, if it's going to go to the upside, certainly the scope is there for an upside break. Um, because it's only a small range there at the moment. So um, hopefully it can expand its range. We'll have to see. Maybe it stays small because of the Brexit negotiations and the euro has been affected by that as well. So we'll have to see. But um, um, I like the idea of being on the long side. Um, sent market sentiment, you know, retail traders, uh, I looked at it yesterday, 66% of them were short euro dollar. I don't want to be on the same side as... as retail however those retail traders have been net short since way back in may so that's an aggregated position doesn't mean all retail traders are short and some of those retail traders might be short from right up here and so in which case if it comes down they'll be making money um, but overall retail are on the short side and still um, comfortably short and underwater so um i always rather be on the on the opposite side to them um of those overall figures. So anyway, um, looks like I'll press pause for now. We'll come back to this in a bit. If I can do that, press pause.
Okay, just back. And it's now 4.37 p.m. And still sat here on this euro dollar trade. It's done nothing all day, has it? It's been up and down. But we'll put it into perspective on the daily chart. And I really thought we were going to get an extension, expansion of the range. But maybe we still do. It's 4.37. It's not unknown to have a bit of a run on a, on a Friday evening. Um, not a massive run, but you know, might still um, run some more. Um, it started coming down, so it's starting to the pressure is starting to come back to the downside here. My stop, remember, is only down here at 50, so it's got very close. Um, but and it's now looking like that might be where it's going to go. I've been off the mic for a couple of hours here now, or no, an hour or so with the guys on the in the room, but um, it's looking like it's going to be a stop out. But as I always say. Um, I'll say uh, an observe, give an observation and say it looks like it's going to be a stop out, but I will never try and jump out early and try and um, just think just because I think it looks like it's going to be a stop out because just when you think it's going to be, it'll go and do the opposite. So, um, but I do think it is looking more likely that it's going to be a stop out, but um, but that's the only trade there today. It, it just a uh, um, bit tedious, unfortunately, and um. So um, just got to put up with the fact the market didn't want to give it today. So I'll come back to this recording later once I have got stopped out, if that's going to happen. Um, but I was really hopeful of a bit of a run um, today. One way or another, it didn't even do a run to the downside. And so a um, bit stuck. Brexit stuck. That's the problem, probably. Anyway, I'll press pause and I'll come back to this later. OK, just back. And... Um, we're now at uh, 20 past five and um, uh, well, <laughs> it's still sitting here. I've got a Zoom chat, a personal Zoom chat tonight and I'm using my laptop here today because my computer's down. So I've got a call at an end to this video. I've just realized it's um, so I was going to try and hold on to this and then come back to this later this evening. But I've got a Zoom call that I need my laptop for in the kitchen. So um, I'm going to have to call this. A day, unfortunately. What a rubbish, rubbish live trading video day today. Uh, it's not my fault. It's just, it's the market's fault. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm still sat in here in this position. Let's bring up the positions tab. Um, it was up, it was in a bit of profit earlier, but what's that matter? It's just a case of it's not done anything. So I'll show you where it's sat. Uh, if we can bring it up. Is it going to let me drag this across? Yeah, there we go. So there's the positions from this morning. So um that's where they're at. So, but it's open. It, it doesn't really mean anything, doesn't it? A bit like when you're in an open profit um, until you've banked it, same as in an open loss. But um, so, oops, is that kind of, it's not let me drag it back across. <laughs> oh dear. I'm having some problems with the laptop. I think the laptop needs a reboot. It's been busy today. Um, so that's it for Friday's live trading. What can we take from Friday's live trading? Lots of patience required today. We had a great chat and great um, sessions in the the room that I was doing today or using Zoom here. But um, uh, from a trading perspective, I'm going to leave the trades like I'll always do is leave, leave a trade over the weekend, see how it gets on. Um, basically, the market's not done much today. So not much I can do about that. We'll see what happens next week. Take care for now. Enjoy your weekends. Now, let's see if I can press stop on the recording. There we go.